if they're gonna cast over our line. It's not looking too bad. Oh, no, 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 oh, you just cut me off. <laughs> It's our anniversary, second year wedding anniversary. We've got to try and get Shelly onto a mackerel. Let's do this. And apart from all the kids that are going to cast over our line, it's not looking too bad. Hey, look, it's baby shark girl. Oh, the dolphins are there, that's why. Oh, no. Lots of bait down there to your right. Lovely. We've got the whole ocean, but we're going to anchor right there. <laughs> Holy smokes! Let's see if this will get the nibs. Yeah, first of all, it was a bonito that came up, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then a bloody. Screw it, grab it. Yeah, well, two of them came through. Yeah. But you, yesterday, you... I caught one here. That was a. Um... Yay! He, he hooked one, so I pulled my line in to get it out of his way. He, he had his fish just about landed, so I threw my bait back out there and straight away hooked one as well. Oh, how good is that, eh? He had two flipping around on the bed of one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it came up and had a crack. Yeah, had a look. You on? Yeah, yeah baby. There's another one right with him. Yep. Oh. A couple of them actually. There's a couple of them there. You want a man grab? Right over, beautiful. <laughs> That's it, eh? That's a nice fat one, too. Lovely, I'll see if I can hook. Oh, yep. Oh. <laughs> Flicking plastic. I saw many on 12 pound. It's lucky to get it in there. Mm. Oh. Get on a tomato. Oh no. That's a mackerel. That's a mackerel on a plastic. Yeah. Oh, it's spat oh. it. Oh, oh no, no, I pulled it. Oh, he just oh, cut me off. <laughs> Didn't it take everything. <laughs> it, it just <laughs> came. <laughs> that was a mackerel Sorry, thing. Just keep that one there, Shell, in case I drop this one. You're not ready? Um... Sorry, mate. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Nah, he's off. <laughs> I didn't hook him right. It wasn't had. Ah, get those larvies. No fish for us on the anniversary, we've still got tomorrow, so we're going to go. We're going to go back to the same spot we got married. few clips you guys are going to see a bit of the action that I was getting from a few different lures keep an eye on the bottom left hand screen and enjoy yeah it's fucking cold breeze today <laughs> there's a 
few trails around here. Oh, we had a good look at it then. Oh, he came up and swiped at it. Oh, there's another one just there, look. Look at it, over there. Like, oh, two of them came up to have a look at it then. Oh, come on. They're here. Did you see it? Oh, damn it, there was two of them. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's having a crash. Holy shit. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. There's two of them. They're having a look at it. Holy. He's still there. Oh, I don't know if I got that on footage because my... How good was that? Holy shit. Well, it must like look at this. Oh, he's there again. He's scared, my heart's fucking racing. Well, I didn't hook up to a mackerel then, but every second or third cast, they were following it in and they were swiping at it. They just didn't hook up. And that was the jackal squirrel, the 79, the deep diver. The jackal squirrel did so well, I was so happy with it. I stuck to that for about an hour. They stopped coming through after a while. It was awesome to see him so close to the jetty. I took off all my steel, got rid of everything, and I just ran a mono leader they seem to hit that a lot more when it was not steel so i was like yep yeah. um, and that was a bit of a local thing too hey they on all of their travels that they ran for their bait no steel so they had a lot more hookups when they were just running straight mono but they did get cut a few times so that's a bit of a Those teeth are like crazy, yeah. hey, they're shocking. Oh, I'll make a bit on the ass by one of these. Yeah. No, I don't want the hooks back. I want to at least cut them as much as I can. Could it be? Could be a big Jewy. Oh no way. <laughs> oh no, catch up.
hopefully a bigger fish. It says, use What does it say? Drive south. Oh yeah, so that's, the, that's the address where the, uh, where this company Thank is. God! Fuck. Are you guys thinking that's where you fish? Yeah. You are, you gotta fish the South Tweed. Yeah. That's a good place to fish too. It is? Yeah. Yep, let's go. Oh, it's a bit of a drive from here. Yeah, that's a good Oh, that's a nice hook. It's rusty. It's rusty, but it's good. Rusty, but good. Just in the middle of the wash down procedure, but the ones that worked well for the mackerel on this jetty was that X Rat shallow dive. That was definitely getting their attention. Had a few hits on the pink paddle tail. It's a one ounce jig head. I would recommend lighter. Um, and that was really it. Oh, wait. This, um, this, um, this jackal squirrel definitely got their attention. Probably the most out of all of the hard bodies I was using. Nuclear chicken, not much, just for the flatties. Um, then I had telescopic Tim here. This is the Abu Garcia 12 foot telescopic rod, absolute jetty weapon. 8 to 10 kilo line weight, perfect for throwing your live bait out. And I had a big long Pananosta setup. It's really, really actually quite long. For a reason, I thought the Mac would be sitting a little bit higher off the bottom. And this worked really quite well here. Um, as I explained in my vid, that's a little attractant. I guess you'd traditionally use this for trawling, but it worked really well for my live bait. And that's just on the 12, 12 footer there. That's pretty much what I was using.